Marie Osmond has spent almost her entire life in the spotlight, but that doesn't mean it's always been easy. Here are some of the most challenging situations Osmond has experienced and how she's found a way to make it through them all. In 1976, when Marie Osmond was only 15 years old, she debuted as co-host of the variety show Donnie and Marie. Getting her own show was a dream come true, but it came with the pressure to look a certain way. In 2018, she revealed to Dr. Oz what her old producers had told her when she was 103 pounds. So I was taken out in a parking lot and said, if you don't keep food out of your fat face, we're all going to lose our jobs. Thinking it would be her fault that 250 people wouldn't have jobs, Osmond then starved herself down to 97 pounds. Osmond told Larry King that although five of her eight children were adopted, she believed she suffered from a form of postpartum depression with all of them. It makes you feel helpless. It makes you feel like you don't even belong in your own life. You weep, you cry, you, you have no joy. Things got so bad that she even left her family at one point. She told the Deseret News that she handed her baby to a nanny and said, I can't stay. There is something wrong, really wrong with me, and I have to leave until I figure it out. She drove up the California coast and stayed in a hotel until her family eventually convinced her to come home. She said she wished she hadn't waited until her son was five months old to get help. Osmond documented her experience with postpartum depression in her 2001 book, Behind the Smile, My Journey Out of Postpartum Depression. Marie Osmond tied the knot for the first time at age 23 when she wed basketball player Stephen Craig in 1982. They welcomed a son in 1983, but it was only two years later that the couple divorced. A year later, she got married for the second time to music producer Brian Blossel. The couple went on to have two biological children together and adopt five more and were married for over 20 years before divorcing in 2007. She later told Oprah that she had a very bad marriage with a lot of pain, a lot of sorrow, a lot of trying, a lot of effort. And a surprising turn of events, Osmond later remarried her first husband, Stephen Craig. The two are still married as of January 2019. In 2006, Marie Osmond made tabloid headlines after she was hospitalized for, quote, an adverse reaction to medication. The National Enquirer reported at the time that she had attempted suicide, but her representatives denied that. Her spokesperson told the Today Show, She basically had an adverse reaction to some medication she was taking, and she blacked out. Her manager said of the suicide reports, We deal with those tabloids all the time. You get tired of responding. It's like punching jello. A week after the incident, Osmond seemed to have fully recovered and was vacationing with her family. In perhaps the most difficult tragedy a mother can face, Osmond lost her 18-year-old son, Michael Blossel, to suicide in 2010. She spoke to Oprah about her son's battle with depression and revealed that he had been feeling lonely the day before his death. I told him, I said, Mike, I'm going to be there Monday and it's going to be okay, but depression doesn't wait till Monday. On the night of his death, Osmond was performing in Las Vegas and wasn't able to get to her phone when he tried to call her. Later, she found out he had died. But Osmond hasn't beaten herself up over missing the call. I think if you live in what ifs, mm -hmm. you stop living. Osmond said this was the hardest thing she's ever dealt with, but with all she's been through, it's clear that nothing can stop this incredibly strong, inspirational woman. No matter what life gives her, she just keeps moving upwards. The way Osmond survived is we keep singing, and that's what we want to do tonight. If you or someone you know is seeking help and support to deal with substance abuse or mental health issues, please call SAMHSA's National Helpline at 1-800-662-HELP-4357.